Hey, we're going to talk about this worksheet. It's uh, how to do the standard algorithm for the two digit by two digit multiplication problems. And there's some steps we go through. And we're going to, uh, I'm just going to show you how to do this real quick. Okay, the first step when we're doing the two digit by two digit standard algorithm multiplication, you're going to multiply from the ones position first. Okay, and when, uh, you're going to go and draw a line from three to the one. We're going to multiply three times one is three. Okay, the second step. We're going to multiply from the ones on the bottom to the tens on top. And three times four is 12, and it already has it right there. Three times four is 12. You are recorded just like that. Okay, the next step. Okay, before, before we start multiplying from the tens position right here, uh, since we're multiplying from the tens position, we're going to put a zero right here. You're going to put a zero right there. Every time you're doing a two digit by two digit multiplication problem, and, the, uh, and you're multiplying from the tens position, you're going to have a zero right there every time. That's one of the biggest mistakes fourth graders make when they're doing the standard algorithm of two digit by two digit multiplication. The second step, you're going to multiply from the tens position to the ones position on top. And two times one is two, and it's recorded there already. The last step, or the second, the, the next step, you're going to multiply the tens positions together. Two times four is eight. Okay, the next step, we're going to add both of our partial products together. Add both the partial products together. So 3 plus 0 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So 41 times 23 is 943. I'm going to do another example right here. Uh, first step, we're multiplying the ones position together. Draw that line right there. 3 times 1 is 3, and it's already recorded right there. Okay, the next step is 1 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, this is the identity property of multiplication. It's the identity property of multiplication. Whenever we multiply anything by 1, it's going to be itself. Okay, the next step that we do before we start multiplying from the 10 position, we're going to record a 0 right here in the 1's place. So the next step, we're going to multiply 10's position on the bottom by the 1's position on top. And that's 3 times 3 is 9. Okay, and the next step, the very next step that we do, we're going to multiply the tens positions together. Draw that line. 6 times 3 is 18. It's already recorded there for us. So the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add these together. Add our, both our partial products together. 0 plus 3 is 3. 9 plus 6 is 15. Carry the 1. Okay, 8 plus 1 is 9. Already recorded. And 1 plus nothing is 1. So 63 times 31 is 1,953. Okay, I'm going to do a real quick word problem over here. Okay, on this word problem, it says a ferry made thir uh, 36 one-way trips on Sunday and carried an average of 21 cars on each trip. How many cars were ferried on Sunday? Use estimation to check your answer for reasonableness. So before we do any of these problems, Really, we should be uh, rounding these and making an estimate of what we think the answer is going to be. And if I round both these numbers, that would be 20 times 40. Okay? We know 2 times 4 is 8, and I have two zeros right there in my factors, so that means it's about 800. It's going to be about 800 cars. We're going to work out the problem now. 36 times 21. Set the problem up just like that. First step, I'm going to multiply 1 times 6. 1 times 6 is 6. Okay, second step, I'm going to multiply 1 times 3, and that's 3. That's the identity property of multiplication. Anytime I multiply something by 1, it's going to be itself. Okay, before I start multiplying from the tens position, I go ahead and put my 0 in the 1's position right here on the bottom. And then I'm going to multiply 2 times 6 is 12. I carry my 1, bring my 2 down here. Okay, next step, 2 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6 plus 1 is 7. Record that right there. Last thing I do is add this up. 6 plus 0 is 6. 3 plus 2 is 5. And 7 plus nothing is 7. 756, I compare that to my estimate. It's very close. So that means I probably got that one right. That probably got that problem right right there.